Hi, this is John from the Appio team. In this tutorial I will explain to you, how to enter or edit guess the picture game details. The fields marked with star are mandatory fields, that means you have to fill these fields, if you want to build the app. Now let's see how to complete this process. You have already provided the name of the app, this name cannot be edited. If you misspelled the name, delete this app, and create a new one. Under the application theme section, you can choose the theme for your app from pre-created color palettes. Or you can choose your own colors using these color pickers. Selecting colors is mandatory. Under the coins tab, you can define the number of coins user will earn, or spend, in the gameplay. This is the number of coins, new user will earn on starting the game. Here you have to mention, how many coins the user will earn once he wins a level. Here specify the number of coins, the user spends to expose the letter while solving the quiz. Here specify the number of coins, required to remove the letter from the quiz. Specify the required coins to solve the level. Moving forward. Here you have to select the logo for your app. This is also a mandatory process. The supported file types are PNG, JPEG and JPG. File size must not exceed 1 megabyte. And logo dimensions should be 512 pixels by 512 pixels. Under the general details section, you have to provide support email ID, on which your app user can connect with you. This email ID will be embedded into your mobile application, and will be visible to all. Redirect URL, you can provide a website, blog, or YouTube channel link here, if you own it. You can also skip this, as this is optional. Now we will move to the monetization section. For Guess the Picture Game, we are providing the option of Facebook or Meta Audience Network ads, and AdMob ads. We have created another tutorial on how to create Facebook ads, you can follow that separately. Once your app is live on Play Store you can create Facebook ad IDs, and place those IDs here. These IDs will be dynamically placed into your mobile application. If you want to monetize your game with AdMob ads, you have to provide AdMob ad IDs here while creating this game. If you have already published your game on Play Store, and want to use AdMob for monetization, you have to place your ad IDs here and then again build the app, and publish new version on the Google Play Store. For now select None. Now click on Save and Continue. If any of your provided data is empty or not valid, you'll see the error message. You can scroll and check which fields are showing errors, and rectify them. Once done, click on save and continue. That's it for this page. Keep learning, keep earning.